Oh, okay. Hello, this is a video on the Swiss Micros DM42. It's the only calculator I can find that has RPN for the UIL calculator test. We were, for the past 10 or so years, a lot of our students have been using the HP 35S and it's been a good one. Um, I'm not the UIL calculator coach, but my daughters have done UIL calculator for the last decade. So I've been working with them and we've been using this one. When I was in uh, high school and college, we used HP 32, HP 32S2. And from my memory, I looked for my old calculator, couldn't find it, either lost it or it broke, which is sad. Um, this calculator has that feel a little bit more than this feel. So here, let me show you some of the functions. So when you have, let me clear this out, 25, three divide, and I just wanna show these decimals. I'll go to display, all to show all the decimals like we do for money problems on one a couple of those problems in the calculator test so i'm gonna go back to side two where it shows two decimals three significant figures okay over here on this calculator it looks like the hp because i think the designers made it look like an hp since hp no longer made them so i'm going to show i think this is pi over two i'm going to display all the variables and i can go psi two like you normally do, um, which is already there. And there's a thing called show, so I can temporarily show a variable. It shows up all the decimals for a moment, then disappears. Oh, I didn't get them. Let me go back to show. That's a nice handy feature. Of course, it's got sine, cosine, tangent. I'm in degrees right now, the mode. I'm in degrees. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the tangent of 45, which is one. And then there's the, of course, these keys are a little bit different. There's the exponents and logs, and there's the pi sign and its inverses. And um, my, my daughter's never used the integrals here. There's a solver here, but it's much better on her other calculator, either the TI-84. We use HP Prime, but there's, dis there's adds and disadvantages, adds and disses for everything you do. So uh, the one thing I noticed that we remember, there's a percent change button. Okay, I did not see a percent change button. I don't believe this is the percent change. I think it's some kind of like a modulus or something. I'm not an expert at this calculator. All I wanted to do is kind of show this. It's a metal back, so it's, it's a more sturdy calculator. And how do you get to the batteries, which is one of those little round CR, whatever, CR 2032s or whatever. There's four screws, sorry two screws and then you pull it apart and I will have the there's other videos on the internet with the Swiss Micros DM42 this is just to show for the calculator contest and let me just type in a few 25 enter 2 divide 8 times 32 10 to the x so just some just some number punching it's got a good feel and you can hear that kind of the punch feel this is a little more soft feel. This is a more hard feel. And I've not been expert at it, but in a, I'm gonna go home and balance my checkbook with it and try it out, see how that works. So I like the button feel. It's a metal case. There's a lot of ads to this. First of all, you can buy them. Uh, I went on eBay and Amazon. These are about 200 bucks for a used. These are about 240 and it's the, Swiss unit of currency, the Krona or something. I don't know. It's some, I don't remember what it is, but when I paid for it, it just transferred out of my Discover. I personally paid for this one. Um, I'm going to talk to our school about maybe purchasing six or eight of these calculators and then moving the moving these down to the middle school. And then we will... Canadian is not the poorest school. However, sometimes they choose to spend money on different things so I don't, I don't know how that conversation is going to go, but I'm going to try to uh, encourage that we buy some of these for the future. I don't know how many kids after my daughter leaves, what's going to happen. I don't know how, what interest they'll be, but hopefully we'll have the calculators that they can use if, they, if there's someone who wants to pick up the mantle and continue to hopefully do pretty well in calculator. That's our goal, is to get as many people in it as possible. So I, I just wanted to show this calculator. Uh, there's other videos that I'll put in the in the links in the comments section to find. 
but the buttons look pretty good. And there's a PDF, if you come up here, there's a menu and you can go down and go through the menu. So it talks about, this is a, this is a basically the HP 41, which I never owned and used, but it's very similar to the 41, which is kind of like the 32 that I used. So one thing I like about it, when I turn it off, there's a cool uh, screen. Turn back on. There's a bunch of screens to cycle through. There's Wally, -E, and there's some kind of 3D graph, and there's a frog. And there's, it looks like a cracked screen, but it's not a cracked screen. It's like those phone, uh, trick phone deals. Okay, this is a video on the HP, I'm sorry, the DM42, which is like the HP 41 or HP 32. And I wish HP would make some of these. And maybe some of you could contact, maybe we can get in contact to see, okay, where are people buying calculators? Because it's probably not on Amazon or eBay. All right. Uh, this is mainly for uh, Brad and Keith. But anybody else, please share this video. Thanks.